everyone. My name is Rosalie Lapointe and I am currently working in the research group of Professor Marie Leclerc at Laval University and with the collaboration of HINO in Quebec. Today I will present to you my master project where the main objective was to uh, fabricate a temperature sensor. So uh, we are at uh, HINO at the moment and uh, we, I will show you all of the stages of my project from the formulation to the printing of a real device. So let's go. Before showing you my manipulations to arrive at this temperature sensor, I will explain the context of this project while I get dressed to go to the clean room. In fact, the main goal of this project is to replace DP dot PSS in electronic sensors, already produced at high NO due to the high humidity dependence, which is not favorable to the production of a temperature sensor. This is why, in the group of Professor Mario Leclerc, we have developed a self dope promising polymer, allowing us to have a solution 100% soluble in water, and furthermore, allowing us to have a better printing. Indeed, as you can see here, the self dope polymer only needs to be in contact with water to be dissolved. After having passed it in the sonic bath for one hour at 40 degrees Celsius, it is now time to prepare the solution for printing. So before putting the solution in the ink cartridge, it is important to filter this solution to make sure not to clog the nozzles. I print all my sensors for my project with the inkjet printing here at Haino, and I print everything on a flexible substrate that I have previously washed and plasma treated. While waiting for printing, it is important for me to tell you that for the characterizations, conductivity and TCR are usually analyzed. But for this video, only the end result will be shown. When everything is printed, an important annealing is made to make sure everything is dry well and voila, we made our temperature sensor. So to prove to you our self dope polymer is the best candidate, I will use a resistance analyzer that Hyano made to show you the change of resistance as a function of the changing temperature. The temperature change is produced by my hand which, thanks for friction, will produce heat that I will then place on the pixels of my temperature sensor. So you can see that the resistance will increase over time due to the heat emitted. And then I will remove my hand and the resistance will return to its initial point. This sensor really has a lot of potential and unfortunately I couldn't show you everything, but note that compared to PSS, this polymer reacts better to temperature changes and is less dependent on humidity. I hope you will find my project as interesting as me. Thank you.